a lot of time like that half of the song. Sitar you know, like playing with Jeff. So a, a, he's such a distinctive player. He didn't follow anyone else really. Just completely out there on his own. They had a sitar player in the studio and he was thinking in sort of 13 and a quarter times into <laughs> and they said no it's four four deal, 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 deal. and I said it's sort of like this and I got the octave the G octave and then played deal, 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 deal. and I said why the hell we we got him here I can play that from day one he was doing stuff that didn't exist except for him when i first heard the odd birds when i heard jeff's playing it was noticeably different even then to my young years there was a sound to his guitar that kind of stood out and was different from from the usual pop stuff there was something about it the notes he was playing i mean that, that was more lyrical to me and within a month we were flying over to america <laughs> Not only had been to America, but I'd recorded at the famous Sun Studios and Chess Records. Shape of Things, amazing. I remember that distinctly. How is it we've had to come this far? to get the sound we want. And in England, the, the studios didn't get it. The engineers back in England were more pure. They, they didn't like any anything that rattled or squeaked. I, I mean, bring on the squeaks. We don't care about that. And instantly, you know, we had the playback. We were all looking at each other going, this is the stuff, you know. Jeff would come round and he'd play me the sort of uh, um, first cuts of the records. And I remember him playing shapes of things. And when it came to the the solo, I thought, this is the most extraordinary solo. Ravi Shankar was playing quite a big part in the Beatles and stuff. And I used to sit over at Paige's house listening to Rago's, you know, and Vilyat Khan and, and Ravi Shankar, and just marvelling, how could this be adopted in the guitar, this bending of the string, to such an extent that you could play a melody with one bend? in the Yardbirds was paramount importance to guitar-based groups because he had an incredible ear and he set an amazing standard and also that his technique was extraordinary as well and um, I must say when I heard that I really understood what Jeff was really uh, uh, capable of. The Yardbirds had a crazy manager and I remember Giorgio freaking, he just, his steam was coming out of his ears when I played that solo, this is exactly why you're in this band. You 